Left hand side, Iran. You can see right side, Portugal. And you can see that both teams are going yes. to be using FC Bayern Munich. It'll and be... sometimes they they would like to to trick the other oh, players yeah, to, to change some stuff. Yeah. So there's always some surprises. They you certainly know? keep them guessing. They yeah, exactly. Keep them guessing. <laughs> exactly. That's it. So it would be the same team. This for me, of course, I prefer different teams because of my <laughs> sight. But on the playing analyst standpoint, it's even better because there is no exception. I mean, you have exactly the same team. It's just about how you use yeah, them. Exactly. And that's the, that's the real, that's the real, exactly. you know, when people talk about skill gap and things like yes. that. In tournaments like this, when it's it's stat balancing or, or, or uniform rating, whichever your, your dictionary your term, definition yeah. of it is, if you, if you both pick both te if you both pick the same team, it's then just a case if you both have the same, uh, let's call them chess pieces. Yes. You have both the same chess pieces. Right. It's just about how you get to checkmate, and it can be completely different. And we may see the diff the the same, we may see the same type of gameplay, but it will be those key moments, those critical exactly. moments that will be the difference maker. Exactly. Well, my friends, I think we are here. Ready, almost. Mero Men says, Iran 2 nil easy. No, no, no I, don't, I, I don't think it can't be that easy, surely. Yeah, we'll have a look at the team lineup. Let's see. And here we go. We've got uh, we'll loud and clear, and please. I believe it'll be Iran on the left hand side of your screen and Portugal on the right hand side. I'm just trying to remember the brackets that we saw earlier on. And Iran are the home team in this for that scenario, so they would be at home first. Exactly. Let's see what they're doing. It's four on the back. Will he keep that? Let me see. Yeah, we'll certainly take a look and see what they've got going on here. As you can see, though, both of them quite smartly it's have loaded up multiple, multiple lineups and multiple yes. things to take a look at in terms of formations. But of for now, it's quite, quite mirrored. Yeah, and and that's the thing. It, it, it's it's those small moments, and it's those small, even in the game plan screen that you can. I, I am still a firm believer that in a in a game plan in the game plan screen you can win or lose a game because exactly. if your players are in the wrong positions, if your players are just out just by a slight, then unfortunately it can be common cropper. Now, of course, we also got there Nico who's asking for Chile versus Greece results. We are waiting for production just to give us a quick heads up on what the on what the result was in Greece versus Chile. Uh, we will bring that to you once we of have course. news. Uh, as of course, right now, we are just waiting for the lineups here, but we are waiting for news. We have certainly asked the question for you, uh, Nico, so rest assured we will get that to you as soon as we can. But we have here Bayern Munich against Bayern Munich. It's Portugal against Iran. It's Iran against Portugal. We will see who wears which shirt in just a minute. Vamos, clapped, dice o Felipe. Looking at it, I think it will be in the traditional kit of uh, Bayern Munich, or it might just be, it might just have gone with the, the away kit and the third alternate kit, which would be black and white, which would obviously be a lot easier on the eyes for a lot of people at home. Today, I, I made a lot of mistakes about that, so I will keep my <laughs> mouth shut. He's just like, I'm gonna wait and see yeah. what's going on. I will see just the white, hear you. The white kit here, so I would assume, very much assume here, and then that's a, that's a very dangerous thing to do, but it will be, Yes. Iran from left to right in the black, and it will be Portugal in right to left in the Someone white. Someone asks if we are going to stream the semi-finals. Yes, of course. Yeah, both semi-finals. Exactly. Most importantly, guys, both, both. semi-finals will be streamed live. So it's not a case that we have to pick between one or the other. You get both. So we will have two very good finalists that will be here, or the semi-finalists that will be here, and we'll certainly decide the finalists and the third place playoffs. That's true. So the game starts. It's Iran, apparently on the black shirts, and Portugal, apparently on the white shirts. We say apparently because we're always waiting for our production team to give us the nod, but certainly looking at the cameras yes. and the way the graphics are set up, it would be yeah. Iran from left to right on your screen, and it would be Portugal from right to left as Moussiala makes her way through here. It's early chance for Portugal, looking for Kane. Tell tries to win the header, and Graven Birch will clear that away. Here is Davis. Davis back towards the goalkeeper. So we're looking for the first opportunities in the match. Just six in game minutes, and here it's it Musiala. comes. Musiala, Musiala driving into the box, and it's taken kindly by Manuel Neuer. Good situation by Portugal. Now it's the turn 
to Iran. Let's see what he can do. It's Kim Min Jae to Kimmich to Gravenberch. Portugal looking to be the aggressor of the two here is Tell. Tell looking forward and Davis intercepts it and clears it away. Nice back heel. And now is Iran with the ball. And Kim Min Jae back to Manuel Neuer in Portugal. As we said, looking to have the early opportunities here as Delit tries to fly the ball forward. Here's Joshua Kimmich. Here's Goretzka. Goretzka to Gravenberch, looking for the ball through. Is Tell on side? He's not. It's a quick answer to that question. You can see early signs from Portugal that they're looking to just get very, very quickly into this and exactly. maybe try and unseat this Iranian game plan that has been heralded throughout this tournament by player and, and caster and analyst alike here as Musiala tries to play it forward. Tranquilo, Jorge. Here's Goretzka looking down the line here. Upper Meccano will mop that up. Here's Musiala looking for Sane. Sane. Can he retrieve it? Here's Davis. Upper Meccano. Launches the ball forward. Pepa. It's oh, away. That, that was a little bit strange. The goalie came, came in so far. That's the, the offensive goalkeeper, that's why I think it's the one kind of Achilles heel with this lineup, as we see Kane trying to win the header. But I think it's the one Achilles, Achilles heel with yeah, it. Yeah, I understand that. I think the, re the reality is, is you've got to be careful. Here's Gravenberg tries to play it forward. Here's Harry Kane. Kane looks to shape, gets it in toward Musiala. Musiala's got some free room, parried away by the goalkeeper. Lehmer will clear it, Musiala will drive it forward. And around looking to launch a counter-attack here is Sane. Oof. Tell, Sane, brilliant footwork. What a speed. So quick there, Sane to Tell. Tell, can he get the ball in towards the back post? You're looking to Sane and up on Makano will clear it away. Ah, Portugal, aye. live to fight another day here. It's Moisiala, Gravenberch, Gravenberch, double touch and straight into the feet of Joshua Kimmich. If you're just joining in, this is the first Great game. Great ball into Tell, around on the attack and Kim Min Jae gets a foot in. Here's Manuel Neuer. And off we go, this is the first quarter final. Or well, the quarterfinal that's the featured quarterfinal, should I say, uh, of Iran versus Portugal. Again, Portugal in the left. Uh, uh, sorry, Iran on the left, Portugal on the right. Portugal on the attack, and it's cleared away by Iran's goalkeeper. It's Iran on the black shirts, it's Portugal on the white shirts. Quite balanced match. It's perhaps Iran the one that had a little bit more of an attacking standpoint. Certainly his tell, though, off the header of Kane. Matt Tell with the header. Well, Tell with the strike, beg your <laughs> pardon. It's, my eyes are deceiving me. I really need that eye check when I get home. Here's Vidovic to Tell. Portugal. It's a midfield battle. It's as... very much breaking down, as you quite rightly said. It is breaking down in that midfield ever so slightly. There's Sane, though, trying to break free onto the it's, wings. It's like none of them can reach the box of the other one. It's true, they're certainly struggling to just find their inroads. And we had that one opportunity that got saved by Manuel Neuer, but that's been about it so far. Here is Goretzka to Tell. Gravenberch. Gravenberch looking to drive forward here. Portugal, can they find an opportunity? Tell flicks it on looking for Goretzka. Davis with the clearance. As far as Kim Min Jae, who takes it down first oh, time, he's given an opportunity here to Tell to launch the counter. Moussiala down in towards Sane. Iran on the attack. Can Iran find the strike? They look to not drive it in. Is Musiala. Neat double touch into midfield. Kane, Port Portugal trying to again address that issue and trying to drive it forward to Lit and Manuel Neuer gets there ahead of him. It's like if the mirror is exactly doing this thing that in the middle we will play. But none of us may be able to reach the ball, the box and the goal. Seems like at this level there is a almost a psychic ability to predict what your opponent is going to do. <laughs> Certainly when they get two evenly matched teams here with evenly matched sides, with both having the same tools at their disposal. It's very interesting to see the different play styles we see here. Tell, up against the lit. Tell looks to shake off his defender. Sane taken down. Wasn't Nothing that given. Foul? Nothing given by the referee. Here's Kane to Gravenberch. It's Musiala. And Davis intercepts it. Davis forward towards Vidovic. Vidovic to Tell. And Kimmich Look, comes see, away with it. Everything goes at the midfield. It's that midfield battle. Sometimes you need to cut that out. Or yeah. You need to cut that, that midfield section out because it just 
the ball gets gobbled up in there. You've got to do something special. Here is Sane, yeah. Moisiala, Lima into Tell. Can Iran do something special when they can't? And it just gets cleared away. It's too much of a, of a mirror game. Nobody goes out of the script. They, they're doing exactly the same, and they're having exactly the same result. Yeah, they both have their set methods of play style. They're very much stuck in their ways, as it were. And again, like I said, it's going to be either an, er an error or a moment of magic that will light this game on fire. Here's Gravenberch looking for Goretzka. Again, just to remind you now, it's a flip of ends. So it'll be Iran in the black. And it's Portugal in the white. Here's Vidovic to tell in towards Moussiali. He's got away from the defender. Great save from Manuel oh, Neuer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant save. Did he save the corner? I don't think he did. It will be a corner to Iran. As you can see from those camera angles, you can see Azerbaijan's representative just behind there, offering a little bit of moral support there for different countries. And again, it's great to see from other countries supporting other countries of here. Course. Is that it's, of course. As we said, once you've kind of almost, once you've been eliminated, you can just throw your support behind who you who you really want is Moussia looks for a ball and said Kidmin J clears it away. Look at Makano wins it, finds Leroy Sane, Sane to Tell, Tell to Musiala, dinks it back inside, looking for Tell, he's just slipped out of vital moment. Ball is cleared forward again, Portugal now starting to right there, look just a little bit. Here's Musiala, cleared away by Davis, Gadetka. Forward, Musiala. Davis will intercept it. Who is going to break the deadlock here? It's it's very battle, very midfield, very cagey game. I think that we depend on an error. Yeah, I think I think both players are at such quality. I don't think you'll be seeing an error anytime soon. I think it's going to have to be some type of skill here. I may just separate these two teams for 60 minutes in, and apart from that one save. I can't really think of too many real clear cut opportunities on the side here. Un abrazo al X7, muchas gracias, X. Sane looking to drill the ball in. Tell. It's an offside flag. Offside. Offside flag that goes up. 61 minutes. This is a best of three. This is the first game. All of the games must have a tiebreaker. They cannot end in a, in a draw, in a tie. Yeah, absolutely, they can't end in a draw. Both players. This is the Portugal player, of course. This is the Iran player. Hopefully, hopefully, from that mic that he's got, hopefully he's not talking to anybody as he's playing. I mean, that would be <laughs> that'd be off-putting to say the very least. They, they, they even look alike. You know, they <laughs> play with the same team. They play alike. Both have black shirts, and they even they both have a, a small beard. <laughs> I tell you, both are fearsome competitors here. As you can see, like just behind them, you could see uh, Emiliano from Italy, who's uh, here as a as a delegate for, yes. for Italy. Again, he's you know his abilities on the game are vast in number. And even you can see there just a curious word to Azerbaijan. It looks like it's Portugal who looks to dribble in here. Coburn and Opa Makano. He was preparing. He was preparing his leg. He le his leg was on the air. Well, it was in the chamber and he couldn't fire it off. It's Chupa Moting to Kimmich. Un abrazo a Roman Dios, que no es de la C, abrazo grande. Rafael Guerrero into a surge now, break. Can there be a breakthrough here? 66 minutes on the clock here. And again, the reason why we are so hushed versus what we have seen already is even we can feel the tension here as yes. the ball goes in yes. towards Chupa Moting. Can there be an opening here? Rafael Guerrero into a surge. Nabri, Nabri got away from his defender. Nabri, oh, it's a big opportunity and it goes. That was a good a one. I think it was the closest that we got from a, a, a situation, a clear situation. Everything is on pair. The completed passes 72 71. All into the box here, looking for Chupa Moting at the back post. It's flicked off of him. Nabri may just keep this in if he chooses to do so. He does keep it in. Joshua Kimmich that will recover the ball for a Portugal throw and as we kind of enter the last 20 game minutes or so this has been it's been intriguing yes, yes it's not been goal filled but it's certainly been intriguing it's like and you have if... to think that maybe both players are downloading data on one another here because <laughs> at the moment at the moment they, they're so evenly matched here 
Yes, it's 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 all very mirrored. Would you change the team for the second game? Would you risk that? It depends on how much you practice with them. Now, that's the issue. Uh, with these players, they'll, they'll pick a team and then they'll get used to that team. You don't really want to go away from plan A, especially when you've been so good already for both sides here. You won't want to go away and, and kind of maybe concede the opportunity of changing. You can see super cancels galore here, waiting for the right opportunity. He's got arrow and he spaced the ball in the end, but the ball's bounced to wag one at and it's gone to tell and to clear away again is one her again in towards Nabry. Kim Min Jae with a vital challenge. But you know, there's always like a pair, like if they're dancing tango, for every black shirt is a white shirt, for every white shirt is a black shirt. So evenly matched, as we yeah. said, it's the, che it's the chess it's the chess match. It's, exactly. It's the game of chicken. It's who who blinks first, who, who makes a change, who changes their formation. And at the moment, there's no give in either of the players here. And I think that they are both trying not to risk too much. It's the first game. Both know that if they stick to their plan, if they have a good opportunity, things may change. And as the match is so even, just one goal can be enough. Yeah, absolutely. One goal could really be enough here. As we get into eight minutes left of the game, plus a little bit of stoppage time. Chupo moting in towards Kimmich, in towards Chupo moting cleared away by Kim Min-Jae. He says Nabri, had it clear again. Can Iran steal this game? It is up for grabs at nil-nil. It is Tell looking to inroad here. Guerrero, Chupo moting what oh, a turn! Oh. Chupo moting what a with four minutes left to go. What a move that was. Amazing, amazing. As we said before, you had some time to change your song, you to change your spirit. And now I believe, I believe that you have seen things you don't normally see from Iran. As That's a saw. percentage play that you don't really see. What, a, what an unreal turn, takes it out of his feet. Wan is there to score. And into Amazing. the back of it. What a finish that Amazing. is. Amazing. I think Poetry. it's... Poetry. Brilliant if it, ball. If it's not the best goal in the tournament, it's really one of the top three. There's certainly been a lot of the head scratches in the chat of... Ooh, Amazing. Was, it, Amazing. The thing is, game recognises game. When yes. communities and when players of see course. goals and they go... Of course. That's something different we don't of normally course. see. There's a tip of the hat there. Yeah. It's a brilliant finish there. And with four in-game minutes left on the goal, on the, on the game... Yes. Iran have themselves a goal lead, and we said it would be a moment of magic. Exactly. And it is exactly, exactly. that for Mass uh, Abajani. And you said, and you said this, is, this is a very important point. You said before the match started, the Iran players make stuff that nobody else does. And you were exactly on point, Naive, naive as always. witnessed it. I was, like, I, was like, I was like, no, the kid, I know he's good, but I don't, I don't know what you mean about no. things you've never seen. Like that. Coolness under yeah. pressure. Four minutes time exactly or four minutes from time and the coolness and presence of mind to pull that off unreal from yeah. Iran brilliant finish and as you can see now it's gone very back, back to again almost that hushed silence yeah. there was the ripple of applause from the players who have waited here to watch these and games out look at the face of the rest everybody's so it's concentrated so, it is so tense here it's very much I, I feel as though I am maybe doing them a disservice by puncturing the air with my commentary but certainly when you see a goal like that, it's worth it. Absolutely, yes. as Guerrero looks to bring it forward. Can Portugal find an equaliser? It looks for Kingsley Coman and Benjamin Pavard will clear that one away. And also things are, are not just by chance. In Iran, there is a very big football scene with huge tournaments. Yeah, not, to, not least the Middle East region as well. Weimar looks to make her way through and it's cleared away again. Yeah, as we said, as, a re as an emerging region, the Middle East is certainly providing wonderful players as you've seen already throughout this tournament and none more so here than Hassan Pajan is the ball looks to be cleared over halfway will there be one more opportunity there won't be and that will be game one to Iran that's it that is all but done we're just waiting for the ball to be cleared over halfway and there it is game one goes to Iran I think it's a fair result do you think given, so given what we what we said would be the difference maker given what we said in terms of the like I said, a moment of magic was going to define it, and it came from Iran. Yeah. It was a brilliant piece of and, skill. Uh, and the wise guy said, perhaps one goal is enough. Um, and I'm he not, was right. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you who said that. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't, it, might have been, it might have been Barry. Barry no, I, I may have I, just inched it from Barry. No, I'm not I don't sure. think so. It, it, he had an accent. He had an accent.
Well, as somebody said in the chat, I, I sound like I'm from Coventry. Uh, okay. with a, yeah, well, that's that's a no. that's an inside English joke. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now in terms of the performance that we just saw from the two of those players, both at the peak of their powers, and like we said, it was one moment. One moment really changed that game. Yeah. And again, the presence of mind in that moment. There are so many things you could have done when that ball goes in, but to kind of pirouette out of it and then just. That, oh, Do you think that, that play was improvised? I think it's not. I think he made that I play he, I many times. Yeah, I think, and that doesn't, yeah, exactly. It doesn't come by accident to do exactly. those types of things, especially with the way that the ball moved in. I was going to say, we saw a lot in the chat of everybody going, ooh, oh, that was good. Yeah. And and when we certainly see people suggesting, yeah, Iran may have a, a, a yeah. lot to go because here. Because just with the roundabout, that was very good. A lot of players would have tried to score with, with that the, player. Yeah, yeah, so it was Chupa Moting that made the move, and a lot of but us, he knew, myself included, if I'd have got into that position, I'd be smashing the Chupa immediately. Instead, the presence of mind, again, to have your substitute so you brought on. Uh, Wano with his almost trademark white gloves, very, it almost looks like a snooker referee, <laughs> but you always can pick him out. And it was brilliant awareness, the presence to pick him out and just yeah. slot it into the corner. Brilliant and, play and from he him. knew he had another player there waiting for the ball. Absolutely, and and it sounds as though both players are ready to round two. We're going to wait for the lineups. We can see that we're yes. hopefully going to see the lineups come of back course. in here. As we can see, I believe they have flipped sides now as well. So it will be Portugal from left to right, because it's it's uh, and the and the telltale sign was Harry Kane starts for Portugal and exactly. doesn't start for Iran. Exactly. So it is Portugal from left to right on your screen, and it will be. Uh, Iran from right to left, of course. Iran now one game to the good in the quarter-final that we are showcasing. What a game that was. You know, sometimes you can look at games and say, oh, well, if it was goal field, oh, that's a really good, that's that's a brilliant game. Yeah. Sometimes it's the game of intrigue. And yes, it's the games that yes. kind of almost stimulate the minds of the analysts and say, yeah. you know what, we, and, we just want to see the tiny And I mean, and that's what I said, that with just one goal, you can win this match. I, I, I can still keep my word on that because they, they are playing so much a mirrored game that the most probable result would be nil-nil. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was so tight. Um, it really was at that point. Uh, Coco Pato is asking about information for the Spain match. What I will do, guys, I will send our roving reporter, Barry O'Halloran. I will send him to go and maybe take a look and see whether we can get any live score updates. Uh, I may get a piece of paper slipped to me. It might, be a, it, might be a, it might be an electronic device. Whatever happens, we will get you some information. <laughs> so left to right, as we said, Portugal, Portugal in the, white, in the kit, white. The kits have not changed. No. So in the black, it is Iran. As we said, they are one game to the good. If they get this game over the line, they will guarantee themselves a spot in the semi-final. Oof. And at the very least, they will guarantee themselves a place in the t in the top four Oofa. of this competition. As Vidovic finds his way through. Vidovic, goalkeeper's out. He's going to keep running. Vidovic! Oh. He scored! <laughs> he baited the keeper. He ah, waited and waited yeah, and waited. Yeah, 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 and Vidovic yeah, yeah. slots it home. Four minutes gone. Not even four minutes. And Iran had themselves a goal lead. You know, perhaps he listened to us when we said that his first goal was one of the best of the tournament. I say, OK, OK, I have more. I, I have a simple one. Yeah. I, have a, I have one where I wait for the goalkeeper. I will wait. Uh, brilliant. Again, through ball. Again, Vinovic, yeah, Vinovic beats the defender. Defender gets through. Goalkeeper is out already. So the issue with that, with yeah. the offensive goalkeeper is, is Neuer is already halfway into his box. So the issue becomes then you've then got a manual goalkeeper trying to bring him back, but then you also have the manual goalkeeper trying to stop the shot. Of course. So when Vinovic is here, he keeps running, keeps running, and he's like, ah, is he going to go back to his goal or is he going to keep looking for the cutback? So he no, goes, no, nope, he's going to keep amazing. looking for the cutback. I'll slot it in the corner. He, he didn't push it like a Panenka style. He just baited the goalkeeper. He, it was purely mind games. Just, purely mind he games. He just flicked it. Exactly. Flicked it very nicely. Very calm, says Mandrake. Exactly, Mandrake. Very calm. Very calm indeed. Tafeo te jogo, this Bruno. This it's 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 not nice. This game for a for Portuguese fan. Well, if they're Portugal, you're looking for. MV to find something here and Muisia looks to roll it in. Kimmich will take the ball away. It's to the best of two. Iran already has won the first match. And if the result keep like this, he will go ahead to the semi-finals. It's Vidovic. Vidovic to Lema. Lema forward towards Vidovic again. Vidovic, bit foul. too physical there. That's foul. a foul given.
we're watching a nice match now because it's you delicately know, poised now. Por Portugal needs to go to go ahead, to open, to risk. Well, as our man, as our man uh, Barry Halloran mentioned, whenever you concede, your plan A goes out the window. Exactly. And Portugal are going to have to find something here. Here's Kimmich. Just gets dispossessed and now around the back of the tack here and Leroy Sane's found it. Tells it in on, he's on side here. He's up against Oprah Kai. Tarot's in the corner. He's picked it out early and Iran have got two goals up. And it was once again an excellent definition. Once again against the goalkeeper trying to play those mind games to wait until the last minute. This is also precision, you know, knowing when to, to kick the ball knowing when to carry the ball. Look at this. Just Amazing. a slight... He read the movement. So there's Amazing. a manual goalkeeping there from Clap V. But it's picking out the right moment to strike. If you watch Neuer's movement, and obviously we're slightly limited by our, by our camera angles, but there was the tiniest movement left, and in that almost split second, Hassan knew to, exactly. to shoot. Exactly. And it was in that one moment, Iran have taken the game away. It's two goals to nil there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now, all of a sudden, we have... Again, if plan A wasn't out the window before, it certainly is now. Portugal are going to need to find something different here. Here's Kibic. Now get ready for a lot of goals. It may, it may just rain goals here. Yes. I think or so. Or it might just be a bit more conservative from Iran. You just don't know what you're going to get when... Yes, but you load it, into a game and you, you take may, the two goals to nil. It's, yeah. it's a cushion, but it may be it? more conservative. But Portugal needs to to try to make a goal, so he and will just, open spaces in yeah, the back. Yeah, absolutely, and that's and that's the danger. At what point do you open up and do you give yourself the opportunity? Because again, somebody like Iran, as we'll see, telling again, great save for the goalkeeper. Good save. Now was the, the first time the goalkeeper was for in good in good shape for the manual goalkeeping. Yeah, and again, we, you know, we talk about it. In, yeah, you don't want to leave holes open in your in your defensive areas. You certainly don't want to leave holes open in your defensive areas against somebody like Iran because they are wonderful at picking this out. As Vidovic corner. cans it off of a defender and it goes for a corner. 22 in-game minutes gone. And I have sent our roving reporter. He looks like he may have got lost on the way, but we will find out. <laughs> we will find out. I think there was a water cooler with his name on it. As the ball goes into the box, it's headed clear. <laughs> and it's back, back in here is Iran Sane Sane goes to the strike it's tipped out and the defender clears it away up a Bacano again it's all one way traffic at the moment for Iran Portugal are going to need to find something just a little bit different here yeah, but it it's seems... hard to do but they're going to have to at this level at this time you've got to find something to, to just break through a little bit instead it is all the pressure coming back the other way of Iran. Yes, he needs at least one goal on the first half. Yeah, I think so. I think maybe just to change that mentality or that mindset a little bit as Goretzka finds Tell. Tell into Kane. Kane looking forward. Gravenberch, double touch. Gravenberch going for the strike and it's cleared it's, away by It's Kimmich. like if Iran has a wall. Yeah, is that black-shirted wall is keeping, Iran, uh, keeping Portugal at bay here. It's Lema looking forward, Musiala, he's got numbers attacking at will. You can see so many players moving forward as Goretzka finds Tell. Tell looking round the corner, open Meccano, shuts it. And he's about to man well know it. And of course, Iran has no rush at all, but he's still pushing. Yeah, certainly in the box seat here as Kane heads it down and as Kimmich cleared away, it's Vidovic and Tell and Vidovic. Nice, Lema. nice touching and touching. Lema. Lema goes long, looking to box for Tell. It's a brilliant ball. Oh, it's a brilliant save as well from Neuer. Two saves on a row. Two saves on a row. It had to be made. Here's Tell. Can Portugal find something? They can't get through the line. Up of Marcano clears it away again. Vidovic clears it. Kimmich. Here's Tell. Tell looking over the top for Gravenberch. And offside he's offside. given. Got Nicolas Papp in the chat asking for Greece to be shown. As I said, but we've sent our, our roving reporter. We're looking for goal updates, we're looking for score don't, updates don't, as quick as say, we can give you. Don't say we sent, you sent. Oh, mate, I, 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 <laughs> hey, he was happy enough to go. I, I think us, I think myself, yourself and the chat will appreciate <laughs> yeah. him going away and trying to find these results for us. Because But it was we, you oh, it was who me. gave him the mission. <laughs> as, as I will go and do when it is the... Uh, well, actually, no, we've, we've got both semi-finals on the of live course, stream. So of course, we may not there's no that. need. 
Yeah, sadly, he has come off empty because the referees <laughs> are obviously far too engrossed <laughs> actually refereeing the game. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll wait for the graphics afterwards. I think that's probably the better way to do things. Or, of course, as we said, keep it up to date on the ISF of course, uh, of website. Course. They have the scores as they come in. They will stay blank, folks, until there are games that exactly. are finished. Are so don't panic if you just see a blank score. That just means the game is in progress. Exactly. So, so here is Tell. Here Jabba the Hutt says Iran is defending insanely well. He is indeed, and he's also attacking insanely well. Yes. Here. Hassan is on another level, says Camillion Bonaparte. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. and again, some of the, the you know the, the comments that we see in the chat, of course, we we see them all, of course, and, <laughs> and they do raise sometimes a wry smile on the uh, on the desk. Um, but yeah, and it's also it's great to have so much attention on this game because, of course. as we said, the quality of the gameplay you're seeing on offer here at the World Esports Championships is just this. Exactly. It is the great selection of players you can have on the planet. Maybe minus one or two, but the overall balance exactly. of the 107 nations that we've had here that's a lot it's a lot of nations it's the united nations of esports it's got to be or it's got to be some type of it feels like vaguely olympics is yeah how it feels um, but you can see the level that all these players and all these countries are bringing with them you can see Goretzka, you can see portugal just trying to find a way in his cane to graven birch graven birch trying to double touch and pavard in his favor he keeps trying and keeps trying and keeps trying and that that's something something valuable yeah absolutely absolutely it's, uh, davis as time passes it. my tongue feels like it disconnects from your jaw doesn't it in yeah. terms of it, speaking of absolutely i mean it's what we've been streaming for a good few hours now but Rest assured, we've got two absolute heavyweight contests to come in these two semi-finals. We'll, of course, wait to find out exactly who is in those semi-finals. Here's Vidovic and... It's more gonna... solid for Iran. Most definitely. And as time ticks on with the game, with especially with the game they have at, at, their, at their disposal, and especially with the fact that they have that first game, that cushion of 2-0 seems to be even more important yes. as time goes on. Yes. As, as we said before, this is, uh, it looks perhaps uneven, but it's quite an even match. But here comes Iran once again. All into the box, and Kim Min Jae plays it away, and Joshua Kimmich will lead it forward. Portugal will need a goal. They need a goal. Just to just, again, give him some confidence here, because at the moment, Iran have just got this, again, stranglehold on the game where they have just suffocated Portugal. They got that two goal lead, and they haven't built on it, but they haven't needed to build on it. That's true. And again, anything that Portugal is throwing at Iran, Iran, as quite rightly has been highlighted in the chat, Iran have a answer for pretty much everything as the ball goes flying through to Manuel Neuer. 61 in-game minutes gone here, and Iran are looking to cement their place in the semi-finals here. And the defence is absolutely crazy at this point as Leroy Sane looks to dribble through Kim nope. Min-Jay. That's a big task to go through him. Tomorrow we have the third place. Tomorrow we have the final. The three of us together taking you to these amazing games. Yeah, we are going to have the three Musketeers on the live stream for third place playoff and for the final. It's just a case of finding out who gets there for Rita and that is yes. going to be our job here today. Exactly. Certainly... One of these two teams will be through to the semi-finals, and the more this clock ticks away, the more likely it's going to be Iran. And I know they'll be very, a very happy Merriman if the score stays the same way, because then we can ask him what the scores are going to be in the semi-finals. <laughs> Certainly, but again, it's just, as you can see there, Kane looking to get the way through. Musiala, Portugal, can they do something? They certainly have it in the locker to do so. Kane, there it is! There it is, and there is the seed of doubt. If you're exactly. a fan of Portugal, there is the seed of doubt for Iran. And now we have ourselves a game. Yes, he needs another goal. He still has time. And mostly he has an energy, an energy that comes after a goal. Absolutely, absolutely. And that, and that gives him, it'll give him that psychological boost. He'll go, yeah. hey, wait a minute. There's this guy that everyone is fancying as the, the guy to beat over here. I'm pretty good too, and I can score. And now that gives him that confidence to say, hey, we can actually score here. And 
as we see, a lot of Vamos in the chat. And again, my, my Spanish is very limited, but I know exactly what that means. Let's see. We'll st we have some substitution. Let's see how long Pro uh, Portugal have on Number the clock 32. here. It's Serge Nabry. Number 39. Number 38. I don't Coming think there's the much time left. Perhaps 20 Number games, minutes, something like that. Number we'll find 11. out here now. We'll wait for these. After the substitutions. They finally wait for these substitutes to finish up. And Iran have a throw in. Kim Min Jae will clear it. Here is Nabri. Nabri onto Kane. And it's cleared away. Graven Birch to Wanner. Wanner in towards Nabri. Nabri, can he find a way in? Iran looks to throw all across the box. And he's cleared away. There is 15 in game minutes here left. Plus any stoppage time. And But Tell is on the march. Super Moting's there too. Kim in Jay will clear it away for Portugal. And, and Portugal needs to play fast. He cannot carry the ball. He needs to get through the midfield very, very fast. The thing is, he's going to have to use Harry Kane. He's going to have to use Super Moting. He's going to get those, have to get those knockdowns. Yes. Here is uh, Kimmich on to Delir and robbed by Gravenberch. Here's Tell to Chupa Moting. Chupa Moting looking through. Looking for Tell. The Robert Makano will clear it away. Here is Gravenberch and Maimer and everybody in attack here. As Harry Kane, Portugal, can Opa. they get one here? Kingsley Coman, looking to turn back in field, gets some fast power. Kingsley Coman, double touches inside, a little bit too much from Portugal. Ay, 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 que mala suerte. A little bit Bad too luck. much. Ball into the box, it's a corner, corner. ball. Ooh, anything may happen, anything may happen. There's eight in-game minutes here, plus stoppage time. Portugal have to score in towards the lead, cleared away by Pavard. And then he has to win over the extra time. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. It's just the, just the small matter of potentially extra not time easy. with one of the hardest nations to play here. Yes. Yeah, just, just that. But, <laughs> you know, in terms of the way that these teams are, are backed, in terms of the abilities that these two teams have, you wouldn't go against Portugal or maybe yes. sneaking another one. But there's this Iranian defence that is just so strong at the moment. It's very hard to figure out a way to get past it. It really is. Yes, you need one breakthrough ball, right? Yeah, it, it, you're going to need, as we said, for, for the moment of brilliance that we had in game one for Iran, Portugal need that type of magic. They need yes, that just exactly. moment of clarity, as exactly. it were. Because again, being up there, representing your country, representing yourself, and putting yourself out there, quite, quite honestly, putting yourself out there for everybody to look at and everybody exactly. say, well, is this the right guy representing my country? Is this the right guy? Absolutely, he is because he's in the last eight of a World Esports Championships or eFootball. He's certainly the right guy. It's just whether he can find this moment. Perhaps everything comes to this. It's Kane looking play. for the moment. It's cleared away. One more chance for Portugal. It's Kim Min Jae forward. Harry Kane flicks it on and it's nearly through. De Ligt will clear it. He needs the equalizer so badly. He's running out of time. Running out of minutes. I see they're already the goalkeepers out of the play, out of play already, but or out of his goal, should I say? Kim and Jay forward. It's four minutes here. Will there be one more opportunity for Portugal, or will Iran close this game out? I'd like to think it potentially going to be the latter rather than the former. Although the Whoa. ball has been given away in a premium place. Harry Kane! That Portugal was... equaliser. Do you know what, Wes? Every time I'm with you, we say the same. If you speculate too much, you just may get beaten. You can't play with the snake. You don't prod yeah. the snake because he'll bite you at some point. And that's exactly what that was. Way too casual there from Iran. And they have gifted Portugal a lifeline back into yes. this series. Yes, yes, because this was a close match. It was, he, he, if he, he shot the ball to the other side of the, the pitch, that was end. It would have been game over. Yeah, if you'd have gone down the other end of the pitch and cleared it, game over. Instead, you're 89th minute, but we have seen time on the clock and of we have course. seen issues at that point. Of course. You can certainly see it again here, three, three added minutes, minutes here. It's, I think it's just one more chance. Could potentially be for one whoever. more opportunity. Could Portugal potentially steal this? Coburn in towards Harry Kane. Instead, it's given away here. Chupa Moting. Chupa Moting. 
driving towards Nabry. Nabry, can he get the ball into the box? Is he looking for the ball into the box or is he looking for extra time? We'll find out in a second. Here is Serge Nabry. Dancing and dancing and dancing. Pulls the ball into Wana. Wana into Gravin Birch. Great save for the goalkeeper. Delicious it away. Amazing. How important that save was. And this match was amazing. Unfortunately enough, we are going to have extra time. And we will indeed. As Patel said, you're too much passing at the back, you will be punished. Yeah. And it's exactly true. If you give and give and give opportunities to get into a game, and yes. you just say, you know what? If you read this, you're going to have a really good opportunity. La pasaste mal, serás castigada. Yeah, punished. And, and as, an, as, an, as an Englishman, there's no better predator in the box than Harry Kane. You don't want to give him that type of real estate. As Wana looks to play forward here, Iran now with, have with some questions grabs. to answer. Here's Harry Kane. It's been won back here by Iran. Martin looking round the corner. Davis will clear. Nabry to Kane. Kane looking forward up and Meccano takes it away. Iran looking to launch a quick counter here. Here's Chupa Moting and it's Kim Min Jay that comes away with it once more. Coma to Lamer to Kane is looking a little bit lecky. He's done a lot of running. It's like the moral is on the Portugal side now. Yeah, all of a sudden the morale, yeah, quite right indeed. The morale seems to be, OK, well, we got ourselves back into this. Like, this is OK, we're OK. As we see Gravenberch and Iran try and lead a way forward. There's Tell. Tell looking infield, the lip will intercept and it will go out for a throw in. Iran throws it in quickly. Chupa Moton goes to the air flick and Kim In Jay says, no thanks, we'll close that door. It's Harry Kane, Guerrero, Guerrero out wide to Nabry. Nabry's got Lamer. lamer has got Kane if he can find him. It's two on one, he's gone for the lob over to him. It's a little bit too, too, too much hang time yeah, on it. Too long, air, too and long. as a result. Too long. And now, let's see what Iran can do on the counter-attack. It's Nabry. It's Serge Nabry, Nabry. From Makano Tacey clearing. As Marin just pointed out in the chat, talking about morale. Normally, that would be the case, but Hassan, keeps it positive, he likes to stay positive and as such he's trying to navigate his way through this but he's got to be careful, he's got one game in his back pocket yes, though exactly. we are half time in extra time exactly so we have one more half of extra time and if the tie doesn't go away we will have penalties, yeah that will be a, uh, a very interesting one indeed I believe uh, Jorge or Jorge or Jorge Pez. Jorge. Jorge Pez. Jorge Pez 24. He asking me who do I think may won the the cup. Ooh, all the, oh, all the wow. It depends on who's Difficult. left. But either again, as we said earlier on uh, about the teams that we have still left on stream. Yes. Either one of these are viable candidates if they get through. Because yes. if you have the story of oh, okay, well they just beat Iran in the quarterfinals, mean, it's scary. I did a tweet before coming here. And I said, Miguel Mestre. Yeah. That was my prediction before the tournament started. It's a, it's a safe, it's a very safe pick, as I it were. I don't know, I don't know. Well, I don't mean safe in that regard, but certainly know. he's going to be there or thereabouts, as, as are, know. you know, as we certainly see some of the guys that are here. Again, how Sampajani has been heralded across this tournament in terms of Iran, in terms of his play style, and certainly in the practice rooms, and exactly. the players that we've spoken to. Portugal, of course. Uh, MV has been, again, fantastic as he's been throughout the tournament. And he's certainly done well to get himself back in it. But bear in mind, folks, he was two goals down in this game. Got himself back to 2-2. And now stands on potentially the the kind of the, the, the horizon of a game three here. But he's got to get through 10 in-game minutes here. Do you smell or, penalties? Or, <laughs> As an Englishman, we always smell penalties, regardless of, <laughs> regardless of whether we're winning the shootouts or losing them. We certainly smell them. There's Rafael Guerrero, Portugal, looking to maybe stop that aroma from filtering into this building, as we'll see Nabri. Iran have five in-game minutes to maybe close this out. They are on, as we said, match point. Again, we are in a best-of-three scenario. You need to win two games in the series and you're through. It's Tell, it's back to Gravenberch. Four in-game minutes left. A little bit of a shimmy from Gravenberch. Looking in towards Tell. Tell trying to get the ball across. Goalkeeper's parried it up. Gravenberch with that there and Upper Meccano will clear. Ay, ay, ay. There's De Litt. Not long left here. And as we traditionally see within... Oh, and there's a terrible Opa. giveaway. There's a stunning cross that was tried and instead... Oh, he's... Oh, Portugal. Two, two defensive mistakes on the last minute 
minute of the match. Two, not one, two. Two. That's, two big opportunities instead That's something now. that you cannot give. Instead now, we head towards penalty kicks. Ah, and, yeah, 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 and, yeah. As, and as we see, as we see, under the T-shirt, under your, under your sofa, under your chair, yes, whatever you can find, under the table, whatever you can find. So the first one is for Portugal. Portugal. First kick goes to Portugal. If Portugal wins this penalty shootout, we have third match. Nabri against Neuer. Nabri takes the hit and scores. Just puts it past the goalkeeper. If Iran wins this penalty shootout. This series is over. And they will be through to the semi finals. It's going to be Iran's Nabri against Ooh. Portugal's Nabri. Very hard, Nabry. very hard, very Shoots hard. And scores. Ooh. Very good penalty indeed. Risky. Risky indeed. Risky. As you know, if you, when you more power you put on the, the shot, the more that targeting circle yeah. increases. Less precision. It goes, it goes anywhere within that circle. It's an interesting move from the goalkeeper. Can he shoot and scores? Whoa, this is a mental battle. Right now, we, we have a mental battle. It's, a game, it's the best game of chicken I can find as a penalty <laughs> shootout. Who blinks first? Here is Chupo Moting. Chupo Moting to strike for Iran. Chupo Moting, ah, it's a clever Penenka down the middle. We've seen him a couple of times. That's dangerous. But, it, 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 you know, in yeah. pressure situations, there are sometimes calls for it. Here's Whoa. Rafael. Galera. He's dancing like Divo Martinez. And he's definitely... Hot stepping his way through. Rafa Guerrero saved! Whoa, saved by Iran. Whoa, whoa. Iran now has a chance, now has a, some leverage. Put some big pressure on here. It'd be a big penalty from Wana if Iran can tuck this away. Iran. Wana against Neuer. Wana shoots. Goes down the middle again. Ooh. It's a brave man. The last time I saw a penalty shootout where a man did two ah, penalty yeah, yeah. anchors, it In a row. kills you. In it a row. kills you. Yeah, that's true. It takes a brave man to do that. It's Kimmich, goalkeeper has moved. Joshua Kimmich, will he save? He will! Manuel Neuer saved. Now, Iran need to score. Just once. Just one. One goal will do it. It is Leon Goretzka. Two chances, two chances, it's one two goal. Two chances to finish the game here. He may only need one. It's Leon Goretzka. And look, look, he's like oh, a hunchman. There's, there's little twitches, there's little moments here. Goretzka, can Hassan Pajani took it away? Hassan Pajani scores! And there it is! Iran take it to, got two games to nil. Whoa. And are through to the semi-finals of the World Esports Championships. And he started like how favorite to start. Doing like a, a masterclass. The first game was amazing game, no doubts at all. On the second game, he suffered a little bit. He was two goals up, yeah. and he let it, he let it slip. And as, yes. as some of the guys in the chat said, mentality comes into play. Yes. If you were yes. two goals up, and then your opponent picks you just in like that 89th minute, yeah. he can play with you. Yeah. And, 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 and,